Strangers wherever we go To be courteous to all those That we don't know I've got a shadow that runs With me sometimes Takes me back up lights and Leaves me blind I've got a shadow that runs with me So Specifically, I want to ask you a couple of things about Between Islands because you were one of the, as I refer to you, the pioneers <laughs> for, that, for that project with you, uh, yourself and Arthur Nicholson and Chris Driver were together to, to write some new songs. Some people thought that was a crazy idea when I spoke about it first because you hadn't met either of these guys before. Why do you think that works? Do you, do you think that really did have anything to do with the, the island connection. You know, it's, I think it might have actually, you know, because I think we had that, we had a willingness to make it work. I think we, the three of us were open-minded enough to just get going and give it, and give it a shot. And possibly like, maybe, maybe we have, a kind of manner about us because we're from islands that lent itself well to that process. Um, it's difficult to put my finger on, but there was definitely a kind of a willingness to kind of make a real go of it. Because we we did want to just get cracking and the ideas just flowed really quickly and really easily. And before we knew it, we had four or five songs in a couple of days and it was a brilliant start. And a great experience you know it just I absolutely loved that initial batch of songs that we wrote and and I loved the set that we got in Lewis as well and the gigs were were just tremendous you know I loved working with those guys I think we just blended really well together I think we're three really different people but we got on fantastic and and uh, I'm really proud of the the songs we wrote and you know in, in very in a very short space of time as well it has to be said and and I, I just love it whenever we get to do something together. So the original the original project, we have got five songs from that on the the CD. But of course, there are more that have not been recorded. We do. I know. I think there was twelve, wasn't there in total? There was a there was a bizarre amount actually for for how short the the time. The writing time was, and there was half. There was sort of half ideas and half songs that didn't quite get finished. But there was a. I think there's, you know, probably a a, a really strong album in its own right of that from that one project. Um, but I think the five that are on the Between Islands album are amongst my my favourite that we wrote. So it's a good representation of the first Between Islands project. I think what's on there. Moving on from that, of course, last year you wrote with Jenny Kennedy and wrote very successfully with Jenny Kennedy. But what was that process like in lockdown? Again, it's back just back to that willingness to make something work. And we, we had that in abundance and really similar backgrounds in terms of where we live, similar family setups, similar love for the places that we're from. And the benefits that come from that and her children being a big part of, of, you know, how important island life is to us. And that was a strong theme from the kickoff with me and Jenny. And that song came together really easily. And it, Jenny's an incredible writer and a brilliant musician. And she made some um, 
you know, stunning fiddle parts for the song as well. And it was just like when she sent me stuff, I was like, that's absolutely brilliant. I'm just looking forward to dragging that into the mix. And I, I, I yeah, that was a lovely experience writing with Jenny. And I'm really, really chuffed with that song that's on the album that we co-wrote. Well, I, I hope that you can write together again at some stage. It would be really good. And I certainly hope that I'm going to see you on the same stage together because you have, to this minute, you've not met Jenny, physically met her. It is really strange, actually, yeah, because I feel like I know Jenny reasonably well after working with her and I had some really friendly chats and exchanged albums in the post and had good yarns on Messenger and all that. And I feel like I know her, but it's bizarre to think I've not actually met her yet. So I'm looking forward to singing in a room with her in real life. Children laughing, a sound so unclear. Jumping in waves with no caution or fear, holding steady through the strife. That'll soon be carrying me home Carrying, carrying me home You also did some um, producing on this album and you had the quite daunting task really of doing Western Isles track I enjoyed the challenge of that, actually, because I I uh, I think having recorded so many things over the years, you absorb more than you realize. I think the the technical aspect was a real challenge for me, but I sort of know what sound I'm going for. But it's as, uh, getting to that point was uh, quite a lot of trial and error for me, and and I'm learning every time I I produce a, a new track or mix a track. But uh, I loved the challenge of that. I loved getting sent a bunch of string parts and harmonies and tying it all together and making sure the drums were still pushing the, the momentum of the song along. And yeah, I, re- I really enjoyed mixing that. It's a beautiful song. It's a great song. And uh, I, think we, I think we got a good version of it. Julie and Kathleen's vocals are, are really lovely. And yeah. Uh, I'm just glad you trusted me to have a go at it. Someday 